of course, from Greg Maddox. And a three-hitter tonight after his 11th win. No one has that many. Third inning, though, Chuck Knobloch, the two-out single. Next batter, Derek Jeter. Two-out single for Derek Jeter. Two on now, still two out for Paul O'Neill. He chops it up the middle. Knobloch's coming to score. 2-1, the Braves in front. Two on, two out, Tino Martinez. The base hit. Four straight two-out singles. The game tied at two apiece. Seventh inning, it's a 3-3 game. Andy Pettit in a bit of trouble. Two Braves on, two out for Chipper Jones. He'll go to left. Tony Bautista coming to score, around from second base. 4-3, the Braves in front. And Maddox, hoping the pen could hold on to this thing in the seventh. Dennis Martinez in, the man on for Derek Jeter. Throwing down the bunt. Eddie Perez going to second to nail Knobloch. But Joe Torre's coming out for discussion. He thinks the ball might have hit Jeter in the box. That's and we do believe Torrey's that's true on the other look. Jeter's and bunt did hit him. Tim McClellan asked for the help. He gets the call reversed. Cox was upset. He got tossed, but the call was correct in the seventh. Two on, two out to Tim Raines. Takes it over Andrew Jones. Knobloch scores. O'Neill scores. And El Presidente getting the loss here as Raines, the batting hero. The Yanks win it 5-6-4 after taking the lead there 5-4. The Yanks had to come back three times to pull. 5 one nothing Cleveland. Henry Rodriguez, home run. Off Dwight Gooden, his 14th. That ties the game at one apiece. Neil Henry Bar is coming down. Sixth inning, 1-1. Runners on the corners. 3-0 count for Sammy Sosa. Had the green light, but he goes 5-4-3 and three to end the inning. Seventh inning, Kenny Lofton's on first. The pitch up by Kevin Tappany. Scott Service winging it down, but that's stolen base number 24 of the year for Lofton. He's on second now, little O. Omar Vizquel goes up the middle. Lofton will score easily. Cleveland up by a count of two to one. To the eighth inning, two one Indians. Sandy Martinez out on second. Paul Asamacher a bit wild. Martinez headed for third. Sandy Alamo with the good hose. Gets the out there to the ninth, three one Indians. One on. Sammy Sosa's the tying run. But he's 0 for 9 career against Mike Jackson to make it 0 for 10 now as he pops out. Sosa 0 for 4 for the night. Show them what they've won. The Indians, a baseball game, 3 to 1 over the Cubs. In Boston, but staked to a three-run first inning lead. Then gets Troy O'Leary to strike out to end the first. Schilling would end up with 10 Ks in the game. Bottom of the fourth, score tied at three. Two on, two out for Darren Lewis, who singles to right. John Valentin scores. Darren Bragg scores. And the Red Sox take a 5-3 lead. Schilling still in there. Down 6-3 in the bottom of the fifth. When O'Leary takes a 2-1 pitch deep into the bleachers at Fenway. His 14th homer of the season. He went three for five. Next hitter, Valentin, muscles the ball over the monster in left. His ninth homer of the year, the 10th now allowed by Schilling this season. He would tie a career high, giving up eight earned runs in this game. Top of the eighth, Phillies down 8-7. Rich Garces facing Mark Lewis. Lewis, who spent a little time in the American League, has seen this green monster before and hits his fifth of the season. The first run allowed by Garces in 11 appearances. Game tied at eight. In the 10th, Tom Gordon gives up the base hit to Doug Glanville, but O'Leary comes up throwing, and Kevin Sefcik is out by a mile at the plate. Next hitter, Greg Jeffries, gets his third hit of the game over Mo Vaughn. Darren Lewis comes up throwing. Alex Arias is coming home, but he beats the throw. Phillies hang on to win it nine, eight, and 10 innings, their first win ever at Fenway. They were swept a year ago game since the 69 series. This, the Ray Ordonez Anderson show. The Bottom of the third, Mets up 2-1. Brady Anderson. Ordonez with the slide, picks it up, and throws Anderson out at second. Hello, Brady. Three batters later, with a runner at first, Rafael Palmero against Bobby Jones. Bang! Palmero's 22nd of the season, his sixth in the last 10 games. The two-run shots gives the O's a 3-2 lead. Bottom of the fourth, Cal Ripken then sends one deep to left. His seventh of the season, and the Orioles take a 4-2 lead. Bottom of the seventh, Mets down 5-2. Bill Pulsifer coming in to relieve Bobby Jones. His first appearance since 1995. He strikes out Joe Carter. Allowed just one hit in his scoreless inning of work. Welcome back, Bill. But the story of the game was Mike Mussina. Top of the second, Mussina gets Bernard Gilkey to ground to Mike Bordick. Top of the third, Alberto Castillo, the ground ball to Mike Bordick. Next hitter, Edgardo Alfonso, the ground ball to Mike Bordick. Maybe they ought to try somebody else. Then, Carlos Baerga, the ground ball to Mike Bordick. Top of the seventh, Mucina gets Bernard Gilkey to ground to 
Of course. Mussina got 15 ground ball outs, allowed only two hits. They were back-to-back -back homers by Bra Twins under glass in Houston. Eric Milton facing Brad Ausmus and striking him out looking. Tom Kelly watching his young left-hander retire the first eight hitters he faced. Milton also helping his own cause. Coming to the plate against Jose Lima in the fourth. Twins up 3-0, runner at second. Milton with the base hit to score Denny Hawking. And the Twins take a 4-0 lead. That's Milton's first big league RBI, of course. Bottom of the seventh. Twins up 4-0, runners at first and second. Osmus against Mike Trombley. The three-run homer by Brad Osmus, his third homer. Twins cut the lead to 4-3. To or Twins lead cut to 4-3. to three. Bottom of the ninth, 5-3 Twins. Jeff Bagwell at third, but Billy Spires grounds out. And the Twins win 5-3. Aguilar is 15th save. Tight. Managing the Dodgers. Interleague action against Anaheim. Omar Olivares facing Charles Johnson in the top of the sixth. Johnson would score Raul Mondesi. Johnson went three for four with three RBIs. Then Paul Canerco would score on a Jim Edmonds error, and the Dodgers had a 4 0 lead. Bottom eight, Angels trail 4 3. Scott Radinsky to Jim Edmonds, and Edmonds doubles to right. And that would score Dave Hollins all the way. And that would tie it at four on the relatively close play. Bottom of the eighth. Edmonds on second for Cecil Fielder. And Fielder going the other way to right. Gary Sheffield comes up firing. And here's the play at the plate. Not all that close. And the Angels take a 5-4 lead. Top of the ninth, Troy Percival facing the pinch hitter Matt Luke. Luke says get out of town. 420 feet for his fourth home run of the season and score tied at five. You know, that reminds me of last year. Angels, Dodgers, Percival gave up a home run to Todd Zeal that broke up a 3-3 game and the Dodgers won 4-3. But on Monday night, the score was still tied at five. Greg McMichael walks Justin Bogman. Two batters later, McMichael, the intentional walk to Darren Erstead. Then Mark Guthrie walks Jim Edmonds. Load him up for Tim Salmon. Salmon. Walked by Jim Brusky, bringing in Bogman. Angels take it 6-5 on the bases loaded walk. And the Angels do it to the Dodgers 6-5. If you were really competitive, you could say we won and they lost. The Stewart and Bruce Bochy watching the action against the Padres. Joey Core, the line at a Sterling Hitchcock, the 1-3 double play. Top of the sixth, Padres up 1-0. Jim Leritz, he newly acquired the flight of shallow right. Who's going to get it, Joey Core or Jay Buter? No one. Falls for a double. Greg Vaughn and Ruben Rivera come around to score. Padres up three zip. Leritz had three RBIs in his Padres debut. Bottom of the seventh, Alex Rodriguez off Dan Maselli. The double to left, Glenn Allen Hill scores. You get a good look at that there. And Joey Cora turning the corner. Get a good look at this. Beats the throw to tie it at three. Top eight were still tied. Ruben Rivera doubles inside the bag. Tony Gwynn would come around to score. Ken Caminetti coming on as well. The throw in is cut off by and the Padres up 5-3. Bottom of the ninth. Trevor Hoffman in to close it out. Joey Cora tries to draw the walk. But too close to take. Strike three. See you later. And the Padres go on to win 5-3. Hoffman is 23rd save. 31st straight save without blowing one. And that's Kevin chilling out after his first triple in four years. He needed the break. Top of the fifth, one nothing A's. Chris Jones on third. Brian Johnson, base hit. Exactly Daryl right. Hamilton, doubles. Hamilton. Bill Miller, out of the base hit. Jones, yep. base hit. Johnson, base hit. It's all in the same inning, folks. That's why you mentioned the name twice. He batted around, scored nine runs in the fifth, sent 13 batters to the plate. Giants put up a nine spot in the fifth, lead 9-1. But it's 9-4 in the bottom of the sixth. Base is full of A's. One out, Miguel Tejada trying to get them all in, including himself. But Barry Bond says, you want me on that warning track. You need me on that warning track. Tejada can't handle the truth. A's would cut the lead at 9-6, though. Ray Sanchez playing insurance man with two on, two out in the top of the seventh. Three-run shot. Takes Buddy Groom deep and gone. Stan, how are wondering where? Let me see those muscles, tough guy. Bottom of the eighth, 12, eight Giants. Ryan Christensen up the middle. Rich Aurelia, nice stop. Throws him out. Giants win by the final of 12-8. Kirk Reeder wound up with... The Rangers against Andy Fox. He's leaving. That's more beer for us. Burkett has more 300 bowling games, five, than he had strikeouts on this night, but nothing wrong with 4Ks. Now to the fifth. Rangers trail 1 nothing. Andy Bennis against Devon Rodriguez, who may or may not bowl. He's leaving.
Rodriguez one of four sixth inning one man on two out Dave DeLucci into the vacancy that's a triple a run will score he went three for four Diamondbacks win this thing by a count of six nothing and Andy Bennis allowed six hits and eight shutout innings the Rangers Albert Bell they're in the first they're There's scoring in the first Bell single scores a run one nothing Chicago then Robin Ventura is with a double two more runs coming in three nothing two batters later Mike Cameron's double Ends a four-run inning. Cordova lasted just three. Now to the bottom of the first. Four-nothing White Sox. Tom Fordham. The leadoff batter, Tony Womack. He's free to walk. Manny Martinez, low. Make it high. Make it a ball anyway. Next batter, Jason Kendall. That's the low one. Fordham didn't make it past the fourth batter. Fifth inning. Game tied at four now. Ray Durham is your batter. Jason Elmer Dessens, and he has yeah. successfully reached the 18 to 39 year old target audience. White Sox up 5 4, and that's how they win it. That count, 5 4. So the start, not exactly what Tom Fordham visualized. He left Todd Stottlemyre getting some defensive help. Royce Clayton making the diving stop to get Luis Gonzalez out at first. Stottlemyre, eight innings, allowing just a run and striking out seven. Bottom of the second, scoreless until Ray Langford blasts this one into the bullpen. One nothing cards. Langford would also walk three times. That sounds a little like Big Mac. Dave Parker giving Langford some praise. Bottom of the sixth, cards up three nothing. John Mabry facing Doug Bockler. Mabry hits the fly ball to center. Brian Hunter on the run. Can't quite make the catch. Mabry in with a double. They do not rule an error here. Mabry would later score on Delino DeShields' single. Pick up the ball, will you? Cardinals and go on to win this one by a 4-1 to one score. Cardinals putting the... Oh, no. Bombinoza. Two-run job. 22nd of the year. 4 nothing. the Jays. Tony Fernandez, he was like a pinata at bat. That hurt. That was in the second inning, and then Pavano drills him again. In the third, in the fifth, you will pay for your transgressions. Fernandez, the single off Shane Bennett. Carlos Delgado is coming to score. Mike Stanley will score. It's 8-1 Blue Jays. Way more than enough for Juan Guzman. Five Ks in the complete game win. 14-2 the Jays. Easy winners here. First win for Guzman since May. First game between the two in the Sunshine State. Mark Kotze with the RBI single in the top of the first. There's a piece of Florida baseball history. The first RBI in a Marlins Devil Rays game. Ooh, five for six, by the way, for Kotze. Game goes extra innings tied at two. Todd Zeal, who was 0 for 5 with three strikeouts coming in, hits the pop up. Fred McGriff makes the catch, but his back was to home plate, and Edgar Renteria tags and scores. 3-2 Marlins. Bottom of the 12th, bases loaded one out. Dave Martinez bounces it to first. Derek Lee comes home to get Boggs at the plate. Two down. Next hitter, John Flaherty. And Alfonseca gets Flaherty to ground out, and the Marlins hold off the Devil Rays, who loaded the bases in the 12th. Game with the Royals. Jeff King facing Mike Remlinger. King, the two-run blast. He is the king. His 15th of the year, four homers and 11 RBI on the eight-game road trip. 2-0 Royals. Bottom of the fourth, 3-0 Royals. Bases loaded, but no DH, so Jack McKeon elects to let Remlinger hit. He's 3 for 27 with no RBIs. And now 3 for, well, 28. The 5-4-3 double play ends the inning. Top of the fifth, still 3-0 Royals. Jose Offerman, the ground ball. Brett Boone to Barry Larkin, who leaps over a sliding Shane Halter and gets Offerman at first. He could still make the plays at short. Top of the eighth, man at second, two outs. Willie Green facing Matt Wisnant. Green goes down swinging to end the inning, and the Royals go on to the 3-0 win, and the great red slump continues, even with Griffey gone. They're hitting 163 with runners in scoring position during their nine-game losing streak. They were one for seven tonight. Barry Larkin, three of the Reds' eight hits. Jim Pitsley, five shutout innings. He allowed six hits and struck out six, winning for the first time since last September 23rd. National League game disguised as interleague, Coors Boys in Millertown. Bottom of the fourth, one nothing Rockies. Bobby Hughes up with two men on. Hughes taking the Daryl Kyle offering to right field. Kurt Abbott, whoops, like Abbott and Costello. Dave Nilsson scores. Jose Valentin scores. Hughes going all the way to third with a triple. Two, one Brewers. Top of the fifth, same score. Mike Lansing facing Brad Woodall. Lansing's been in a big slump. Hits the opposite field. Home run. Nice catch. Lansing's fourth homer of the year. Game tied at two. Bottom of the eighth, same score. Jeremy Burnett's facing Chuck McElroy. Burnett's blasted off the wall in right. 
Bounces away. Burnett's hustling all the way to third with the triple. He's safe. Here. Next hitter, John Jaha, bad foot and all. We'll tell you about that in a moment. With the ground ball to short, but Burnett scores what would turn out to be the winning run. Brewers win it 3-2. Daryl Kyle has lost seven straight.